Welcome to Keeper Corner with Lincoln Children's Zoo. My name is Jo Hannah. I am the very lucky bird keeper here at the zoo. And I have with me one of my friends, but I think I'll let him introduce himself. What's your name? What's your name? Elliot. Elliot, good job. This is Elliot. He is our blue and gold macaw. Macaws are super duper intelligent animals. As you just heard, they can even learn to talk. Pretty incredible when you consider that they talk way differently than we do. So fun fact about beaks, about beaks is that they're very, very hard, right? They're not flexible like our lips are. We use our lips to make lots of sound like the P sound. If you try to make a P or a B sound, boom, you have to use your lips. Birds don't have those. So for him to say it like a T sound, where we use our tongue on our teeth, try it, go ahead and try it. Teeth. You have to use your tongue and your teeth. He doesn't even have the teeth. So when he says words like, what's your name? Elliot. Elliot. There's a T at the end of that word. So when he makes that sound, instead of using teeth, or instead of using lips, he's just his vocal cords. That's right, all of those sounds that he's making, just vocal cords. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine trying to do that myself. So that makes it all the more impressive when these birds learn to talk. And that's not the only thing he can say. He knows a lot more words than just his own name. He can make all sorts of fun sounds. He's got a couple other words that he knows. Of course, it's not polite to talk with your mouth full. So once he's done with this treat, I'll have him say a few more. Hey, can, you give a, can you give a greeting? Say hello. Elliot. Elliot, that is his favorite word. Did you hear something funny? <laughs> he even knows how to chuckle. But he is very smart, not only because he can talk, but because he can use his foot to manipulate things. Look at that. They gave him a peanut, and he's actually using his foot to help hold it in his beak as he quote unquote chews it. They don't have teeth, right? So when he, what he does when I give him a big peanut is he uses his big strong tongue to mush it against the roof of his beak. Yes, you love peanut people, don't you? He uses his big strong beak to help mush it against the roof of his mouth so that it's into nice bite-sized pieces. Because let's say birds can't use a fork and a knife, right? No, they don't have anywhere to keep it. They don't have pockets. They also don't have hands. So that big beak and that strong tongue is really important for them to chew their food safely, just like you're supposed to do at home, right? Can you give everybody a minute wave? Hello, there you go. That was kind of a quiet one. That's what I was looking for. But Elliot is very smart and he's been around a long time. Something not a lot of people know about macaws is that they live really long lives. Elliot, in fact, just had his birthday, or his patch day, as we like to call it, at the beginning of March. He turned 26 years old. That's pretty old, right? But he could live a lot longer. Macaws can live to be up to 60, which is pretty amazing. So think about it. People who have macaws as pets, they have a pet for life. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Macaws are hard pets, though, because they're really, really loud. You can hear he's been talking over me this whole time. They love to make noise. They love to play with lots and lots of toys, so you always got to keep them from getting bored. Give everybody a big hug. Yeah. In fact, having a macaw is like having a two-year-old, but for 60 years. Ooh, parents, that maybe doesn't sound so great, right? Mm, yeah. But macaws are absolutely wonderful, and of course we love ours here. We have Elliot, our blue and gold, and we have Pepper, our scarlet macaw. So, if you ever want to hang out with these guys, keep an eye on our keeper corners, and of course, check below for the fun activity in the comments. Thank you guys for joining us. Elliot, let's give everyone one last big wave. See you next time.